friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing all things green. Green is my spirit color for 2021 and we're going to kick off the new year by redecorating the house and I have some amazing things to share with you today. I have a gorgeous haul of all kinds of green things I picked up. I also have some amazing new food recipes for you guys. I actually use the company Green Chef. If you guys haven't heard of it, Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company. And what I love about their company is all the different dishes include things like vegan, vegetarian, paleo, and keto. Even though I don't always eat those things, I try to eat as healthy as possible to stay strong for our growing family. Actually, we're not growing. Like, I'm not having kids. That came out wrong. No, what I meant was, like, the kids are growing, so I want to keep them healthy and myself so I can live a nice, long, healthy life. Right, let's get into this video. I cannot wait. If you're new here, my name is Lauren Nicholson. Please hit the subscribe button. It's totally free and if you hit the notification bell you'll definitely be the first to know when I post so and if you would like to you're definitely welcome to follow me on Instagram where you probably have already seen a little sneak peek of what's to come in this video let's get into it Different cities, friendly faces, and perhaps So to get started, I'm just gonna do a front porch reset. I'm gonna take down all our Christmas decor. I loved this uh, ski lodge vibe that I did for the front porch. If you haven't already seen that video, definitely check it out. But I, there's snow everywhere. Like I laughed so many times watching myself struggle with the snow. But I'm gonna get everything cleaned up and then I think I'm gonna put some nice topiaries here and just keep it really minimal for now. I do have an over the top Valentine's Day um, decorate with me coming for the front porch. I always do a lot on our front porch. I just feel like it's so nice for the community to see and we're kind of in a prominent area of our town. So I always like to kind of go over the top. So we're definitely gonna do that as well, but I'm gonna get everything buttoned up here and then we are going to move inside. Places in the world I've been to This is where my heart is Oh, you know it's true No matter where I go I'm coming home to you mm -hmm. I will get close to your heartache If you I live in Northern California in the wine country and I have to tell you we have had the weirdest weather here we've had no rain and then now it's you know beginning of January and we've got some rain our chickens have been coming up on the porch if you guys saw my like day in the life little video I made a couple like a couple days ago like maybe a week ago but our chickens have been on the porch every single morning it's been the funniest thing I don't know why they come up here but anyway I'm gonna wipe all that down and then start to bring out a little bit more decor I do get a lot of questions on these rocking chairs and I am happy to report that I have filmed a full house tour with details of everything we have and where to find it so definitely hit the notification bell so you know when that's going to be posted as well as subscribe if you are new I 
going to take all of this stuff out, but now that I'm out here and the red is just kind of like our poinsettias are dying, we actually took you guys, if you watched our porch, my porch decorate with me for Christmas, you uh, saw all the poinsettias here. We actually ended up delivering those to a bunch of friends and neighbors um, on Christmas Eve. That way kind of dressed up our neighbor's porches, but I have a couple left and they're kind of dying. So I'm gonna get rid of all of these, sweep up and just kind of make this look nice because it's kind of a mess right now. Hold you in the dark, make you forget about what's wrong. Let it all out of me. It never rains in California. The sun is always shining bright. People are smiling, making plans, hiding behind their shades, and you're doing the same. No rain, no flowers, nothing's growing where you're at. Heart is fire. There is a giant rainstorm that is on the other side of our house right now that I have to go a little bit faster. It is freezing cold, by the way. So I'm gonna hang this beautiful wreath. I also had another one of these that I picked up from Home Goods. I will share that in my haul that's in a little bit. But I also feel like a great way to start the new year is to have a brand new welcome mat. So I picked this up at Target and I just think it looks so crisp and beautiful. My other one was such a mess. And then these, topiaries I picked up at Amazon. I will have all of this linked down below, but I'll also have it in my next video where I go through literally everything in my house. But if the sky would open up, you're staying home, you don't get out. You always used to love the rain, but LA changed you. No rain, no flowers, nothing's growing where your heart is fire, but baby, I bet you're cold without me Even when it's 90 degrees Without me I bet that you can get it asleep In the bed, lying awake Cause I'm not there beside you Keeping you warm and I know I bet you're cold You're so damn cold It feels so good to have the front porch cleaned. I need to do a deep clean, but as you guys know, it's raining outside, so I just wanted to get it nice and reset, and it just feels like a breath of fresh air out here. I absolutely love this, but we're gonna go ahead and move inside and get started. But before we do, I just heard the mailman drop something off. Let's check it out. Oh my God, it's my Green Chef delivery. You guys know that part of my 2021 plan is to get healthier. I am going to do a full unboxing and review of this week's Green Chef for you guys because I love this company so much. But if you wanna go ahead, you can go to greenchef.us lauren 90 and use the code lauren 90 to get 90 dollars off including free shipping on your first box please consider joining me to go a healthier 2021 i am so pumped Okay, so now that I got dinner taken care of, we're gonna get to decorating. I have all of the decor that I'm gonna be using today and Enzo, my little YouTuber. Hey, Mima. She's got green eyes and felt like this was the appropriate place to take a nap. We love you, Enzo. Anyway, so I'm gonna show you guys each piece um, as I'm actually decorating. I'm not gonna do a full thing, but I do have a haul coming up of all new stuff. So I cannot wait to show you all of that. Let's get decorating. I was one rich little girl, daydreamer, kidnap me, take me back, all the way back to them days, running around, in a gown and a crown, barefoot. Bye. 
One big smile across my face We used to dance our way so I'm actually going to be taking down these curtains in the next couple weeks to have them dry cleaned. I kind of want to wait for the rain to stop, but then, um, and it gets a little warmer. These curtains are um, really, really thick. They also have a blackout curtain on the other side, so it keeps the house really warm. Our house is an 1891 Victorian, so our windows are super thin. But anyway, I found some really great ribbon at Michael's. It's got some nice green tones to it. It'll go really well with the decor I'm going to put in here. So I'm just going to retie all of these curtains and kind of pull them back a little bit to let some sun in. So the pillows I'm gonna to use today, these beautiful farmhouse ones are from the Michaels, and then my other green ones you're gonna see throughout here are from Target. I never thought that I would be The one who turned you down and you disagree We've been on it I love these little plants. I got these from the Studio G McGee line at Target. I just love this like little pop of green and I'm not really good with house plants, although you will see the big ones in our dining room, which we've been babysitting for like almost a year now. But um, they, and thank God they're still alive, but these are just a perfect little pop of green and just kind of change the vibe in this room. I really love the way this turns out, but I'm also gonna add some pretty flowers just to kind of start to bring in the vibes of spring. I'm not totally ready to go full spring since it's still winter here, but I really like the way that this looks. And then for our mantle, I wanted to do something a little bit springy. I love these rabbits. I know that it's not Easter yet, but I feel like it's okay to have them. They're not super Eastery. They're just a uh, ceramic little rabbit. And then I'm just gonna add some like cute boxwood uh, picks to just kind of, again, bring in the greens. I love how the greens play off of all of our paintings on the wall too. absolutely love the way this room turned out. I typically don't decorate with greens, but I was inspired by a cute little dish that my sister got me and I just really do love the way this turned out. This green just feels so rich and like it feels so luxurious. I, I really do love it and it worked great with these cobalt chairs. I was nervous that it would look a little silly, but I think it turned out great. And then after we're done in here, we're gonna go into our dining room and then the kitchen.
So before I do the dining room, I thought I would add some picks to the entryway and just kind of liven it up. I love these, are live oak leaves that I picked up from Michael's, no, Target. I got these from Target. I think they still have them this year. I got them last year and I absolutely love the way these look. The other reason I really like decorating with green is it kind of reminds you of life. Even though everything in here isn't real, except for those two trees I haven't killed yet, but everything just kind of looks nice and alive. And then I also picked up these um, hydrangeas from um, Hobby Lobby last year on sale. I think I got them for $3. I do have a porch decorate with me where I use these. So definitely check that one out. I'll put it in the links down below. Single day, you said my world on fire. You said my dining room I'm gonna keep things pretty simple I wanted to bring these lamps back down I moved them because I had our Lee Max village here and if you see the little kitten on the left that's tuna it is one of our foster kittens who is gonna be leaving this week you guys and I'm so broken every time I foster kittens I fall in love with them but they're gonna be heading to their forever homes this week so you won't be seeing much more of them but um, I'm gonna add a couple things I do have a link down below to my website where I have a couple duplicates of some of the things that you see in my videos, but I'll go more into depth with that on my next video where I actually do a house tour and I'll give links to everything we have, if not duplicates. But I love the way that turns out. I wanted to add some blue in here. So I'm gonna be using these hydrangeas I picked up at Hobby Lobby, no, I picked up at Home Goods, And then I'm just gonna do a simple table setting. So it's Monday, I wanna make sure that the table is nice and simple so that we can have family dinner. We eat here every night. I get lots of comments about how is it that we eat when I have tabletop decor and I'm not sure. We just, it's always been that way. We eat at this table every single night. And um, with some exceptions, we'll eat in the kitchen, especially when I was in school. So yes, we do eat at this table and I just wanted to have a very simple decor and then we'll move into the kitchen. Every single day you set my world on fire. You set my world on fire. how this turned out. So I'm going to do a quick little haul for you guys. I picked up these spring picks at Michael's and these cute little, this like little set of three vases from the dollar spot at Target. And then I needed some dish towels. So I picked these up at Home Goods. I absolutely love the little lemon. And then I also needed some new pot holders. I love this cobalt blue. I kind of have a theme of that throughout our house. And then these I thought would look cute next to the um, sink. And then I needed a tray for the front table. I'm not sure how this is going to pan out, but I just thought it was really beautiful. And then I found these balls. I love these. I have each of our kids uh, initials and then a nice candle it smells so good. And then I needed two wreaths. We're going to hang this above the um, range or the Viking or whatever that thing is in the kitchen. I don't know which one we're going to use. So let's get started on that. And then I also picked up this gorgeous cake plate. It's Magnolia home and it's so beautiful. It was only $13. It is so heavy and stunning. I'm so happy I found this. So to get ready, I am just gonna add a couple little things around the kitchen and then we're gonna get cooking for dinner. Places where the beauty never
So after a super, super long day like this, I have to tell you, I look forward to opening my Green Chef every single Monday. If you don't know what Green Chef is, it is a USDA certified organic company that makes eating well, easy and affordable with plans that fit every kind of lifestyle. I absolutely love this company. So basically how it works is they send recipes which are super quick and easy with step-by-step -step instructions, chef tips and photos to guide you along. Every Everything is handpicked and delivered right to the doorstep. So during times like this, it is so great to not have to run out and grab anything at the grocery store that I might be needing to cook. I just love that it comes right to my doorstep. And you can switch up your meal plan anytime you're ready to try something new. And especially like if you're looking to go into becoming vegan or vegetarian or any of that, like they got you covered. They also send lots of freebies, girls. So definitely check your box out because they get all the good stuff in here. The other thing I love about this is with Green Chef, it is easy to eat well and discover new recipes every week that you'll love to cook. I absolutely love this. I end up ordering the one for four because my two older kids actually will eat this. The other thing I love you guys is everything comes pre-measured, perfectly portioned and already prepped. Meaning I don't have to chop things up. I don't have to do all the prep work. It's just, I just run into the refrigerator. I grab what I need and I get started. So definitely check this company out. If you would like to join me for a healthier 2021, please go to greenchef.us slash Lauren 90 and use the code Lauren 90 to get $90 off, including free shipping on your first box. I hope you guys do. And if you do tag me on Instagram so we can get healthier together. Let's get cooking. If you're gonna be moving on solo, wait a second, cause they're playing the best song. I'll be there if you reach out to me. So tonight I'm gonna do these steak and cheddar uh, burgers these okay this reminds me so much of a philly cheesesteak you guys this is the most amazing thing i have ever had so i'm gonna prep this with you guys i'll take you along you could probably even make this at home but they do send like all their own proprietary spices and things like that so i don't know what's in all of that but 
I love that when I open the bag, everything is pre-prepped. There are a couple of things that you will need to chop, like obviously the fresh ingredients. Like um, last night we ended up making um, something where we chopped up mushrooms and tomatoes, but everything else was pre-prepped. I love that these carrots are already shredded and ready to go. So I'm gonna cook this. My husband is also making some Annie's for our kids. They love that. I just thought it'd be kind of a nice side for them. Um, they probably won't eat this salad, but Annie's with this burger was amazing. The kids absolutely loved it. Saying you're moving back. When were you gonna tell me that? What am I hearing? It feels like a heart attack. Someone help me catch my breath again. How did you stop loving me? How is that even possible? about this dish was they used um, shredded or I think that's what it's called shredded beef which is like kind of like how you make a Philly cheesesteak but I am totally gonna start buying this at the store I absolutely loved this this is so good it's kind of like burger meat but it's shredded it's so 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 good tell me in the comments down below if you actually use that as well So that's a wrap on today. Thank you so much for joining me today for this fun decorate with me and cook with me. I hope you guys do decide to join me with Green Chef and have a healthier year. I also have a couple other things that I'm gonna be sharing in the next couple weeks. So definitely subscribe to my channel and I cannot wait to see you guys on the next one. Tell me in the comments down below if you're new so I can get to know you better. But otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.